Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing one of the most fascinating signs in the astrology series and that is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the search for inner truth. That is the overwhelming uh, title for the class, the search for inner truth. Uh, the aiming for the center of the light, we emerge from Scorpio, the deep, dark, transformative realm. We go into the deep, dark uh, inner space, facing the shadow, the darkness, going through the inner conflict so we can emerge in Sagittarius. In Sagittarius, we already see the peak, which is Capricorn. We see the summit, the top of the mountain and we are having the clear goal that is the journey towards inner truth and also emerging from the inner conflict from the personal struggles into the development of the soul so here the focus becomes developing of the soul searching for truth knowledge that is a powerful con uh, concept because knowledge is uh, the thing that is of utmost value in um, on our journey of awakening knowledge is hidden it has been hidden for thousands of years through uh, spiritual knowledge knowledge of who we truly are so this sign symbolizes that search for true knowledge for the holy grail a cup of knowledge and which is also uh, in a, we'll find it also in Aquarius so these signs where we're getting into the deep profound signs and we are um, going from the interpersonal struggles into stepping out outside of the personality to serve the whole all the signs that are to follow here are going to be beyond personal personality signs here we are trying to find the meaning of existence so that we can fulfill our mission on earth so in Sagittarius, the search for knowledge is um, the overwhelming theme. Sagittarius is the opposite sign of Gemini. In Gemini, everything is ideas and many ideas, many connections. So there is no single focus. Sagittarius, remember, the arrow, we have to create, find that single focus towards the peak of the mountain. We see the summit we see um, that sun the shining uh, the light and we're focused on it that is the journey here to find the truth and to find the meaning of existence to give this um, existence a profound meaning why we are here because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter on a personality level and Jupiter is the philosopher the traveler uh, the spiritual teacher the the sign that symbolizes the planet that symbolizes grandness it's the biggest planet uh, of uh, the astrological planets so uh, speaking in terms of uh, actual size so here we are uh, in the land of grandness and the grandness of the mind of the philosophical concept now we have to conceptualize things and bring them to a deeper understanding so coming from the scatteredness in gemini of so many ideas and contacts we we um, give the quality of the mind concrete expression and we focus on the analytical aspects of the mind so that we can understand our experience from a, um, on a deeper level, uh, from a grand place. So Sagittarius is the seeker. On a personality level, Sagittarius can be um, philosophical, a traveler, they usually they usually have really good sense of humor, an orthodox sense of humor, and also they tend to shoot themselves in the foot. They tend to say things that are self-incriminating. That's in my experience. Uh, they always say things that just come out true, brutal honesty, and sometimes honesty about themselves that just comes out <laughs> on a soul level get that on a soul level Sagittarius is ruled by the earth so we find meaning 
in all the existential things that's around us existential meaning that's we take the philosophical things and we turn it into service so we come out of the personality struggles and serving the personality into starting to serve not just the collective and humanity but uh, finding a con concrete expression of service so that all of this thing here has a deep profound meaning and a reason why we are here we find that reason we're aiming for the total top of the mountain because we're searching for truth we're, we are seeing the light the center of the light we're aiming for that center of the light i can cover all of sagittarius this is just the simplistic version of sagittarius because it's such a deep profound meaning just beyond anything we can cover in just a short amount of time uh, here we're going to focus on um, the types of movements that are symbolized by the center because center is uh, the original symbol for Sagittarius which is half man in Greek mythology, half horse. Then that symbol was represented by a horseman on a horse. The horse is the personality and now the personality becomes ruled by the soul, not the other way around. The horseman is the soul and he gives direction to the horse. Now, in nowadays astrology, the symbol is just the arrow because that focus becomes what matters in Sagittarius. That focus of searching for the light and transforming the soul into that absolute knowingness, knowledge, fire. And Sagittarius is immutable, masculine, and a fire sign. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So from here, we're just going to work on um, beautiful lines, arrow looking lines uh, in this class. We're going to get to the point in the class and you're going to need, this is about a pound, 600 grams of uh, honey jars. Take water, uh, take two books. You don't need to use anything, but I'll use two objects. They're about 650 grams, so just over a pound, something light, but that will give you a little bit of resistance. And we're going to um, get to the point of the workout. We're going to work on uh, really uh, beautiful lines. I'm uh, taking inspiration for this class from the Buddhi program. We're starting a Buddhi program on my website in August. And it's going to be very unusual ways of working on, um, on the Buddhi. Now, the Buddhi also has uh, a multiple deeper meaning. Buddhi sounds a little uh, more 3D. But at the same time, uh, when we work on the Buddhi, we really work on structure and back and alignment and hips. So it's, it really helps with our own personal alignment. Um, structure, it, 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 it helps with preventing uh, certain um, misalignments and knee pain, back pain, etc. So it's a really, um, it's, it's, it's not as shallow as it appears to be, plus it's fun. So we're going to take some of uh, the poses we did in the class called Body Hologram to this class. So are you ready to flow with strength? Starting at the front of the mat, we're going to roll the shoulders back and down and we'll start with breath of fire. At the end of breath of fire, we're going to go into a stomach vacuum and hold it, basically hollow, create, create emptiness and hold it. So breath of fire is rapid breathing through the nose that cleanses. It's a cleansing breath and we're going to generate heat with that intro. Now you can step in a horseman type of pose, not very deep, plie. And we're gonna go into breath of fire, somewhere between 50 and 100 breaths. Just do rapid breath and at the end, exhale and hollow the belly and hold it for as long as you can, which will be about 10, 20 seconds or so. Let's go.
step at the front. We are going to roll the shoulders back and down, find the core alignment, the connection to the floor, the earth, that lift through the crown, the hierarchical ruler in Sagittarius is Mars. So again, we have direction, focus, and action, finding action through the philosophical journey. So we, we create service out of all of this. There is a, um, the soul finds meaning in, um, in, in bringing some form of uh, spiritual service into the world. Let's take the right leg back into a, a step and reach and front, left, reach front right focus on the hands reaching up the Sagittarius like the arrow great and here we're gonna roll the shoulders in both shoulders are forming a figure eight Clasp, reach over to the right, aligning everything, over to the left, back to center, exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, reach ahead of you, look ahead of you, and step back, plank. Spread the fingers wide open. Engage the back, pull the belly in. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Let's take the right leg up and open the knee out. And we're going to lift here 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. Step the right leg to the front. Come up. High lunge. And we're gonna, very important here, keep the upper body very straight, hinging at the hip. So this is a hinging movement. We're gonna reach forward one and come up two, three, four, five. Step at the front and we're gonna lift the left leg one, two, three, four, five. Step it back, high lunge, exhale down, vinyasa. Take the left leg up, open the knee, one, two, three, four, five. Step it through, come up. And we're gonna hinge forward and come back up in one straight line. Focus. One, two. Complete control. Three. Four. Five. Step at the front. Right leg lifts. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Stepping back, lunge, exhale, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, 
Down dog. Let's take the right leg, knee out, and lift again. One, you can extend the leg. Two, three, four, five. Step it through, high lunge. And here we're going to dip down with a lot of control and hinge forward come up, dip down, hinge, two, three, four, and five. Left leg one, two, three, four, five. Vinyas. Take the left leg up, knee out. We're gonna do a few pulses here. You can extend the leg at the top two, three, four. Five. Step it through. Come up. Dip it down. Come up. Hinging forward. Really focus on the move. Dip it down. Two. Three. Four. Step at the front and let's lift. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back, Vinyas. Upward dog. Chaturanga, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, and here we're gonna pulse the heel up. One, two, three, four, five. Step it through. Come up high lunge. Here we're going to step in, lower the knee down, step back and lean forward. Again, hinge forward and come up. A second one of those. Staggered squat. Two. Really focus on each and every move. Hinging. Three. Four. Five. Step at the front. Leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back, Vinyas. Take the left leg up. Leg lifts here. Heel pulses. Straight up. One, two. Three, four, five. Step it through, come up. And we're gonna step in into staggered squat. So knee towards the left heel, dipping the knee down, step it back, hinge, and come up. Two, three, 
straight moves. Four. Five. Your legs should be on fire. Step at the front. One, two, three, four, five. Here we're just gonna step at the front, hands over the heart. That search for truth, symbolized by the arrow towards the top, is also search within. There's no higher truth than the truth we can find within. And no, it's really the most important thing in our life is the search for knowledge, true knowledge, the knowledge of the self, of the divine. And Sagittarius really represents that search. In Pisces is the integration of the discovery of whatever we've searched for and found. <sighs> All right, from here, you're gonna grab a wall and you're going to place your hands, right hand above the left, and you're gonna come to your side and lift the right leg lower down. As you really lift the right leg, you're gonna come onto the tippy toes on the left side and lower down. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is really challenging. So focus on flexing, connecting to the moves. Twelve, thirteen. And 15. Oh, my calf is dead. <laughs> Opposite side. You're going to place your hands on the wall, right leg down, left leg will be lifting. And slow down the moves, focus on execution and focus on straight lines here with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Here you can take your water bottle scans, books. Absolutely nothing would be also fine because we're focusing on, on the moves, on the beauty of the moves, rather than heavy weight. But a little bit of resistance can be added. For this one, it will just add to the challenge. Step at the front. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Step into high lunge. We're gonna lean 
forward, reach over the head, draw the elbows back and lift them up and reach forward and come up in that hinging fashion. So this was only the prep rep. We're gonna start counting now. now. So release, hinge forward, reach forward, draw back, lift, come back up and release. Two. Hinge, three, hinge up. Really focus on that hinging. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, make it count. Make it very straight lined. Great, 10. Your thighs, which are ruled by Sagittarius and Buddha, should be on absolute fire. If they're not, focus more on connecting with the body parts we're working on. Step it back, right leg steps back. Lean forward, so hinge forward, straight back, straight everything, so everything is very kind of like a robotic hinging. Lift, open, lift the elbows, come up, press up, slowly release down. And that's one, hinge, reach up, open the elbows out, lift the elbows, hinge back up, Reach, release, two, hinge, release, three, hinge, four, the front and we're gonna go back to our wall this time both hands evenly on the wall figure eight you can sink in here for static back extension excellent come up and we're gonna kick straight back again with toe lift if you wanna employ the calves on the other side and also work on balance and make it more arrowy. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, opposite side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And stretch it in L shape again. Static back extension. And let's get to the front of the mat. This is all challenging due to the speed and focus of the move. Roll the shoulders back and down. Reach over the head, hands over the third eye. Setting on a quest for truth. This is more powerful than words can describe as a intention, as a quest, as a need, soul need, soul desire. Hands over the heart. It's really the most, the thing that keeps humans imprisoned, the human soul even imprisoned, the soul is that knowledge that has been hidden and we intuitively know about that and we're continuously searching for knowledge we don't want to be in the imprisonment of the false reality the false hologram the limitation where the knowledge of the divine of the soul of our true origin is hidden. Inhale the hands over the head. Just that intention to search will take you on a path of discovery. It will have this synchronistic nature in which one thing leads to another and you continue finding more and more. It is a beautiful journey. Exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Bring your knees pretty close to your forearms, but about six inches, let's say, from your forearms. And we're gonna tap side to side. So we're gonna take the left knee to the right forearm right knee to the left and really squeeze one two three four five six seven eight nine ten slow it down one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stretch your arms behind. You can clap them back and forth. That's also for aligning the shoulders, which can help align the hips. And 
downward facing dog. That previous uh, core exercise is one of my secrets. Uh, it's a powerful, powerful one. One of those exercises that I use as a manifester. It manifests results, strong core in a very, very concise way. Precise, concise. Take the right leg up. And we're going to draw circles with the toes. You can point your toes here. And you're gonna draw medium sized circles. Nothing huge, nothing tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge. This is a yoga workout. Not a classic vinyasa, as you can tell by now. Nothing is, even though Sagittarius is known to be the orthodox religion sign, it's actually in new times it becomes, it breaks out of the norm and it's quite the seeker. So we're gonna break out of the vinyasa norm. <laughs> All right, hinge down, come up, lean forward. Reach down with your hands, so you're gonna lower the hands down. Press back and come up, hinging. Dip the knee down, hinge forward, glide back, and hinge up. Three. Four. Five. And for the next five uh, reps, you can grab your weight. You don't have to. You see, this is real challenging if you focus on flexing the back and flexing the triceps. and the booty and the back and the muscles but you can just focus on execution hinge so uh, lower down come up hinge and now lift the arm straight up come up and lower down hinge That is it, that's all I got. And leave it behind, forward fold, vinyasa, down dog, take the left leg up and draw circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Step it through. High lunge. Lean forward. Reach back. We're gonna start now with five reps without the weight. You can include the weight. I know a lot of you include weight, so do whatever you want to do. Of course, this is the outline here. <laughs> All right, dip. Lean, lower, come up, lift, dip, hinge, lower. You can employ here the triceps and come up. Three, hinge, focus on the hinging moves really. Four. Five. 
grab your weights. Six. Hinge. Dip. Hinge. Lift. Again, release here. Seven. Eight. Ten. I barely made it. Stepping in the front. Again, grab your wall side, left hip to the wall. Right hand up. You can lean down and bend, bend your leg. And here we're gonna straighten and bend, trying to keep it in the same line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale down. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Lift the leg as high as you can. Keep your hip square and we're gonna bend the knee five times and straighten it. One, two, try to keep that line. Three, four, five step it through. High lunge. You can grab your jars or not. And reach with your jars over your head. Dip the leg. Hinge forward. Press into the triceps back. Reach back up with your hands. Dip down and come up and again dip down hinge forward reach back reach up hinge up dip down hinge forward reach back reach forward hinge up more of those focus on the hinging most of all straighten the legs move to the back of the room take high lunge dip down hinge forward reach back reach forward and come up hinge reach reach you can reach forward again you can hinge here or not or dip here or not hinge up a few more dip it hinge it 
reach back, reach forward, come up, and Step at the front, down dog, take the left leg up and we're gonna do a few knee bends here. One, two, three, four, five. Take the right leg up, step it through, take your jars, come up. Dip down, you can just hold your jars anywhere out down up on your shoulders we're going to focus on the hinging action here Hin uh, dip hinge dip hinge up dip hinge dip hinge up two in front of you and here we're gonna lean forward hinge forward and just bring the elbows out lift reach lift reach lift reach four five plank step the left foot draw come up Dip it down, hinge forward, dip, come up. I'm leaving room for interpretation in this. You can add in an extra move or skip one of the moves. Reach over the head, hinge forward, and let's go one, two, three, four, and five. All right, leave the weights behind. My legs are really feeling the hinging. The hinging is where we feel it. You can shake it. over the head, exhale, dive, inhale over the head, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog, take the right leg up, step it through, High lunge. Open the arms out, twist, look behind, reach over the head. Hinge forward, dip the back knee three times. One, two, three. Come up. Exhale down. Plank, chest round up. Up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through. High lunge. Hinge forward, dip down three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come up. Take plie. 
plié, pose, heel lift, 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 pose, heel lift. And let's sit down. Lay onto your left side. We're gonna lift the left leg with heel leading. 10 times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10 opposite sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Lay down. Press your elbows and shoulders down. Shift your weight onto the right leg. And we're going to take a bridge on the right leg. 90 degree angle onto the left. Dip toe dip here, release, lift, toe dip, release, lift, toe dip, release, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, shift onto the right leg, extend the left and we're gonna lift and bend the knee in, extend lower down. So we're lifting in bridge, bridge one legged bridge on the right side leg lift on the left with knee bend. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plow. Shoulder stand. And lower down, twist. Supine twist on the other side.
and relax. Imagine the seed of knowledge as a spark within the soul. Within the flame of the soul. And the Sagittarius lesson, lessons, is that which gives meaning to the existence, existential meaning. through the quest for knowledge, for truth, for soul truth. Stay here observing the spark in your soul, that spark, that flame. <sighs> Inviting the truth as your guide. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste. Thank 